first speaker, there's a list of seven speakers on my, my list at the moment, to the Honorable Andy Temu Mukepa. You have the floor. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, the three bills before us are all related and all point towards Fiji First winning the 22 general elections. The targeted audience, Honorable Speaker, are, in my view, the women of Fiji who are 50% of the population and 50% of the voters, according to the Household Income and Expenditure Survey 2019-2020. I know that uh, the other side does not agree with that uh, survey, saying that it is flawed, but it is a survey that has been supported by other well-known economists. And it's not, and they're not comparing a report to a survey here, Honorable Speaker. <laughs> Honorable Speaker. Order, order, order. Honorable Speaker, we have already had. Order. We have already had, uh, Honorable Speaker, two elections, 2014 and 2018. Fiji First, thank you. Fiji First touting to the world that these elections were free, fair, and credible, and the best elections ever, and getting the multi observer group to believe that it was so. These bills, however, Honorable Speaker, is telling us that elections in 2014 and 2018 were not free, Order. not fair, and not credible, and may be the worst elections ever. So that if that is so, Honorable Speaker, why are these bills before the House? Somebody from your side wrote this. So if that is so, why are these bills before the House from your side? Order. Why are you bullying, Honorable Attorney General, penalizing the women, especially the married women who adopted their husband's name at marriage. For the husbands here, here in this room, whose wives have adopted their name, I am sure you will hear a few choice words at home, which because of the inconvenience, time yeah, yeah. wasted, etc., you'll be hearing again and again from them, why have you allowed these bills to go through? So what are these bills here for, Honorable Speaker? For the women who having their husband's name will have to go to the BDM and have their birth certificate name changed. This is a big issue and a tamani big ask. Just let me explain, explain briefly, Honorable Speaker. Before going into the big ask, this is on religion, as this touches on religion also, Honorable Speaker. In Christian churches, for example, the Catholic Church, Honorable Prime Minister, Honorable Speaker, you would know honorable uh, gentlemen, and also, also the honorable LOP, leader of opposition, and other Christians here. Members go through a ceremony to, the, to receive the sacrament of matrimony, which encourages unity from the wife and children to have one family name. And usually it's a patriarchal, uh, because of our society, name of the husband. However, if honorable, if Honorable Ayaz wants to change his name to Ayaz Ngaboka, you're very welcome to do that, Honorable uh, A.G. <coughs> Honorable A.G., Order. you're Order. very welcome. Order. So, Order. Honorable Speaker, Order. our married name is very important to us, as we have received the government, which helps bring unity To the family. Order. Young women, survey and report, Honorable uh, Minister for Agriculture. Young women getting married now will think twice before taking up their husband's name because of the problems this bill is going to bring up. One of the problems, Honorable Speaker, as I see it, is for example, the name on uh, the name that I have here on all my documents is Temu Mubikamba Kepa. Kepa being my late husband's name who was from Onoilau. The birth certificate and VKB are, connect are connected, Honorable Speaker. So my birth certificate is connected to the Volani Kaumbula 
from a matangali abusa, yeah, matangali malilevo abusa mbonbosanya and province of Rewa. Now, if I were to go to my birth certificate, honorable uh, speaker, and change that name to Temu Muikamba Kepa, I was telling Felipe, who is the same Matangali as me, honorable speaker, the first thing they'll do is to complain, where is that name from, that Kepa? This Kepa here does not belong to this, you people want to land from here, etc. you want to be um, part of the assets of, uh, of my Matangali? So that's what they will say. And if order, they, order. If order. Honorable uh, Speaker, they tell me that that name is, that Kepa is from Onoilao. And I have to be very careful here, Honorable Speaker, because there are people from Ono in this room. So uh, if I were to say, if they were to throw me to Onoilao, they will say, yes, Kepa we recognize. In terms of the documentation for our uh, Matangali and for the, for the, for the indigenous which because of lack of consultation, this would have been, um, this would have been addressed, uh, Honorable Speaker. But then I'm thinking, why all this problem? Why are they going through all this? So it goes back to Nico's case. And that was dealt with uh, very well by, um, by Nico and others who spoke from our side uh, this morning, where the judges said from Nico's name being struck from the register was unlawful, improper, irrational, proportionately and procedurally unfair. And that is what uh, Honorable Attorney General is doing to us in terms of these bills that are coming uh, before the House. And I do not agree with this, uh, with the bills, and I do not support it. Thank you. I, I thank the honorable member for contribution to the debate.